Hello friends, this is Chetan Handelwal and I am pursuing MTech in IT from IFS JV. In this video, I am going to show you how to manipulate the database using Java and we will also see how to join two tables or database using Java. Before we go, first we have to create a database and give some input into it. So I have created a database named MTech and there are two tables in the database that is employee and department and in employee table i have given five columns emp id name email city and department id and in department id uh, there are two columns named department id and department so in a sql we manipulate the data using uh, various ways but in this video we only four ways how to insert the data into the database tables and update this will update the values of the tables of the database and uh, we will also see how to delete the uh, row data of a database tables uh, so here i am using my sql workbench and he i have created an instance named root and its port number is uh, 3306 and it's created on my computer localhost so host name is localhost and as i entered into this so i have created here a database named mtech and there are and two tables in it they are named department and in department there are two columns named department id department name and in employee table there are five columns employee id employee name and uh, email and city so first we will check that whether uh, the tables are empty or not or maybe there are some data in the table so so here uh, as we are using java so I will also show you how to get this output using the Java program. So here we have three entries in the employee table. So here is my Eclipse ID and I have written the program already so that it will not take much time of us. And here I have imported the SQL package and I have used a class.phoneName method for registering and loading the drivers driver and uh, i have used my sql driver in in its place you all can use uh, either oracle driver or jdbc driver or odbc driver so i have established the connection using this and in this is the url for establishing a connection with my sql workbench so this is my local host name and this is port number which is uh, by default 3306 for my sql workbench and this is the database name and this is the instance name and password and uh, so here i am uh, displaying the data of the employee <coughs> table and uh, only one column from this table that is employee id and I have stored the output of this query in that uh, into the result set. And uh, on running this program, yes, it's showing three entries from the table. That is uh, AMP ID and employee's name. So we have seen we have seen that uh, there were uh, only three entries in the employee table and here using the this java program i have showed you that, uh, how to access the data of the database and now i will show you that how to insert um, insert data into the employee table so only we have to do is uh, to change the query uh, from selecting to inserting the data so query for inserting the data is uh, I will insert the values into the employee table. So employee and uh, it, is, it is employee ID. Name will be Deepak. Deepak uh, and uh, email ID will be 
dwea at the rate and then ct name will be indoor and uh, department id is will also be 2145 now we will run this program and show that the value will either inserted on note uh, we are making a mistake here that uh, the insert query will not uh, the insert query will not in, uh, return any output so we have to use uh, execute update instead of execute query I will just comment out this part or comment out this part and we'll run this program after saving it. So it's giving an error that check the manual syntax. Oh, I made a mistake in the syntax of the SQL query so I will just correct it and again run this program so yep it's uh, my console is terminated the execution of program and uh, here We can see that the data Deepak, is inserted into the employee table. So, uh, employee table. So, we have seen that uh, how to display the data of database using Java program and also how to insert the values into the uh, database tables. And now I will show you that how to update the table data using this program so the query for updating the database we will show you that how to update the table of uh, how to update the data of the database table so we have to just change the, this query from inserting to update and the query for updating the data is update then table name then set uh, column name I will change the, uh, the employee name to H for department ID equals to 14 so I will just save this program and run again I will just run this program and uh, yep it's terminated and uh, the database here is I need to refresh it again and uh, here we can see that the name of employee Niti is changed to H because its department ID is 14 so we have seen that uh, how to manipulate uh, the database now we will see that how to join uh, two or more tables in the database using the java before going through this program we will uh, first uh, we will see that how do we can join the two database tables using my we can join two tables in either of four ways inner join left join right join and cross join the syntax for joining tables using inner join is here and uh, we, in this video i am going to show you only the inner join and uh, so, so again here we will back to the program so uh, the above program the above program is same uh, as we do before I have only changed the query for um, joining two tables and uh, here is the query and I have restored the output into the result set so that uh, I can display this output in here, here on my console of Eclipse ID. Here we can see 
that uh, it's showing output as employee name chetan uh, why it's showing only chetan not uh, not remaining three, three columns so i will show you here that uh, in employee tables we have a department id that is 2019 for chetan and uh, same in for department table we have only two uh, department ids that is 2019 and 10 and uh, in employee table the only chetan c is matching to the department id that is in, in the department table so it's printing only chetan not corresponding three entries of this employee table so so here i find up the video and uh, if you you are facing some difficulties in creating database or creating table so you can let me know in the comments i will make another video of this uh, for you and don't forget to get to share this video if you like uh, if you like this like this, this video don't forget to share it and subscribe my channel thank you